How's it going, guys? Medium difficulty question for pathology, step one, internal medicine, TCK. 22-year-old male, he's got a one-month history of painless lateral neck swelling, fever, night sweats. He's lost five pounds during this time. Biopsy of the left supraclavicular lymph node is shown. Questions, wants to know which of the following most likely to be seen in this patient. Then we have this image here, okay, which I'll talk about as we move through the question. So uh, choice A, C, 10 positive cells, wrong fucking answer. First here, acute lymphoblastic leukemia, ALL. So CD10, TDT positive cells. ALL is going to be a kid who has a super fucking elevated leukocyte count where it's like all lymphocytes, okay? So normal leukocyte count, four to 11,000. If you have an infection, you can get a leukocyte count in the teens, sometimes in the 20s. If you have a leukocyte count, 30,000 or greater, you want to be thinking about things like leukemoid reaction, could be pertussis, could be ALL when we're talking about kids. It's a long discussion regarding all those diagnoses. But for example, if you have a kid who's eight, eight years old, has a leukocyte count of 45,000 and it's 90% lymphocytes and there's no overt cough, that's going to be likely ALL. Okay, because if you have uh, neutrophils instead on a smear rather than lymphocytes, that'd be leukemoid reaction. If the kid had a cough with uh, post-tussive emesis, vomiting after the cough, hypoglycemia, that could be pertussis, re reactive lymphocytosis. Point is, wrong fucking answer. Choice B, C mic gene translocation, wrong fucking answer. So C mic. It's going to be transcription factor, so uh, 814 translocation, sometimes 28822, but for all intents and purposes, 814 translocation, Burkitt lymphoma, and Yosemite, okay? Uh, classically, African boy with a jaw lesion, but it can be abdominal. I've seen a 2CK question where they get intra-abdominal uh, Burkitt uh, causing a chylus, which means lymph, a chylus accumulation of fluid within the uh, abdominal cavity, okay? So... Uh, 814 translocation, uh, it's a transcription factor, c mic that's Burkitt lymphoma. Don't confuse that with BCL2 gene, 1418 translocation, an anti-apoptotic molecule, that's follicular lymphoma. Wrong fucking answer. Choice C, actually real quick, I should mention that for Burkitt, you get a starry sky appearance, okay? That's really high yield. I made YouTube clips on that, where you're gonna have a background of B cells that are basophilic, which means purple, and then you're gonna have slightly translucent macrophages. The macrophages are known as tingible, not tangible, tingible body macrophages, where apoptosis is occurring. That's asked in one of the NBME questions where they, they show you the starry sky appearance. They have an arrow pointing to one of the macrophages. They ask you which process uh, is being undergone, and the answer is apoptosis. As I already said, wrong fucking answer. Choice C, mediastinal mass, correct answer. So diagnosis is Hodgkin disease, Hodgkin lymphoma. So we've got B symptoms here, fever, night sweats, weight loss. In 100% of questions, they're going to give you a painless lateral neck mass or facial swelling. This is lymphadenopathy, okay? And then after they give you this, and they'll hop right out of the gates and tell you this. Okay. And so after they tell you the painless lateral neck mass slash facial swelling, they're going to give you other miscellaneous findings, such as a Verkoff node spelled Verkau, which is our Trucio sign of malignancy, the left superclavicular lymph node here. Some students say, but wait, Michael, I thought that was gastric cancer, or that, that, or that had to be uh, like some sort of visceral cancer. It's fucking wrong. Okay. I've seen that for Hodgkin on US Millie, so it's not limited to gastric cancers. So they'll, they'll give you an other miscellaneous findings, such as trucio sign of malignancy. They can give you hepatosplenomegaly. They can give you a mediastinal mass. Okay. And this is not thymoma. This is mediastinal lymphadenopathy. Okay. If you get a question where you have myasthenia gravis, that's often a perineoplastic syndrome of thymoma. Okay. Uh, but uh, they'll sometimes tell you in the vignette that there's a mediastinal mass and thymoma's wrong answer. Okay, so you just need to know you get mediastinal lymphadenopathy. They like this, they like to say mediastinal mass in the vignette, and students get thrown by that. So, this is our Reed Sternberg cell here on the smear. It's an owl eye appearing cell, it's a B cell that's CD1530 positive. Okay, that's buzzy for Hodgkin. Now, the term owl eye, that colloquialism, that can also be. Uh, that can be affixed to CMV, cytomegalovirus, even though completely unrelated. So real quick, hopping to the other answer choices, obstacle spinal syndrome, obscure answer choice, wrong fucking answer. This is dancing eyes uh, that you get with neuroblastoma. It's a pediatric uh, tumor that secretes catecholamines. So they, it's of the median midline. The median sympathetic chain, usually in the abdomen, can be in the posterior mediastinum. I've seen a 2CKP's question where they do that. They can say there's dancing eyes. 
okay, they can, which is obstacle and spinal cord syndrome, they can say uh, there's violaceous eyelids, which sounds really fucking weird because you're like, wait, that sounds like dermatomyositis, the heliotrope rash. Don't know what to tell you. I've seen it. And they want you to know urinary HVA, VMA, homovanillic acid, vanillyl mandelic acid is our next best step in diagnosis uh, for neuroblastoma, followed by meta iodobenzyl guanidine scan. Okay. Don't confuse uh, neuroblastoma in kids with pheochromos pheochromocytoma in adults, where we measure urinary metanephrines. So in short point of consolidation there is just think of neuroblastoma as the pediatric version of pheochromocytoma, which is instead adults. Wrong fucking answer. Choice these signal ring cells, wrong fucking answer. Has already harped on the trucio sign malignancy, Verkoff, spell, Verkoff node spelled Verkow. It need not be gastric cancer. Okay, so signet ring cells. This is buzzy for... Uh, diffuse type, lenitis plastica, leather bottle appearance, the stomach, gastric cancer. So it's just the shape of the cells. They contain mucin and they can also uh, metastasize hematogenously bilaterally to the ovaries. We call them Krukenberg tumors. Okay, students get fanatical about weird shit. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe my channel. Appreciate your time. That's it.